in two days to go now till the next fixture, another away trip, this time to Cheshire. How are you feeling going into that? Yeah, good. I think um, I think Tuesday night gave us a lot of confidence, though we didn't pick up the three points. I think the performance, especially in the second half, um, a lot of self-belief came back into the team. Um, and we just got to go there, be confident, try and play our football, be nice and strong when we have to be, and, uh, and hopefully pick up all three points. And obviously the boys are just trained tonight. What sort of thing have you been working on? Just some shape, really, and just some, some of the some of the positives from the other night. Um, some of the areas we got in, just picking out different different options, um, but just making sure everybody had got the, the the stiffness, tiredness out of their legs. There's one or two lads that didn't play, just done a little bit extra, and uh, just really preparing now for Saturday. And obviously then, <coughs> not got the quick turnaround next week, two sessions next week before the Taunton game. Do you have to think that far ahead or is it one game at a time? I think it's one game at a time, but we certainly have to look forward to the, when I say the, the bank holiday weekend, it's just where we are with the injuries. It's the only thing I will look forward to in terms of will we have players back, will they be longer than we expected. At the moment we've got a couple, uh, Manash and, and Mitchell and and Devontae and, and Joy could all be fit for the weekend. Then again, they might miss the weekend and then we need to make sure they're ready for the week after. So they're all the areas we're looking at. Uh, hopefully uh, they'll all be fit for this Saturday and then after that we need to patch them up for training on Tuesday and Thursday and then we go into a, a busy schedule, as you say, with two games in uh, in 48 hours. And obviously it's one of two games we play away in Hertfordshire. Are you hoping for the fans to travel in numbers? It'd be nice. I mean, as I said to you uh, on, on Tuesday, Will, is that I thought the supporters on Tuesday night were absolutely outstanding the way they got behind the goal and it would have been nice just to have given them a goal even in that last couple of minutes. It would have, uh, it have brought back some memories of those uh, FA Cup games last year. So it would have been nice to have given them a victory. Unfortunately, it wasn't. You know, I can't fault any of the players for their for their commitment, their, the way they went about their business. They played good football, got in great areas. It's just the fact is we couldn't finish them off. And you've got to give Hungerford a little bit of credit for the way they defended. But again, we go into this weekend. Hopefully, we can get as many supporters there. We, we'll need supporters there because obviously the boys need them behind them. And hopefully, we can give them the three points. All right, thank you. Ian. Brilliant. Thanks, Will.